to the father. I had a business. But when we came, you were sleeping. I didn't want to make you up. So what happened? The brother asked. He said they left. Allah. They left. You know the business is. The father has this cow. Then the father said, because of this respect that you showed to me, I am giving you this cow as a gift. Now he had the cow. He lost. Now Allah wants to repay him back what he lost. So when the case of Bani Israel came up, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the description of the cow he had and gave to Bani Israel so they can come and buy the cow and a huge and large amount of money so he can replace what he lost because of obedience to his father. Allah, 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 Allah made his story to become a title in the Quran called Suratul Baqarah because of his cow. See the importance of favors in this world? That is the importance of a father because he obeyed his father. He didn't want to disturb his father. Allah replaced it with what? With a cow that he had and had somebody to come and buy. So from here I want to tell all of us Wallahi ladhi la ilaha That in anything you obey a father or a mother, there is nothing called losing it. No, never! You obey your father. Whether they are Muslim or not, it doesn't matter. Because Quran says, the only time you can say no to that Quran says, Wa in jahada ka ala an tushrika bi ma laysa laka bihi al fala tuta'uma. And the Quran, wa sahibuhuma fi dunya. Let me finish with the hadith of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi wa sallatu wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. That he asked Imam Jafar al-Sadiq that when Allah says, wa bil walidayn ihsana, what does it mean? How can I be kind to my parents? Imam Jafar al-Sadiq said, number one, Allah to sammihima bi ismihima. Don't call your parents by the name. Of the parents, they are alive, don't call them for you. You know their name? Always call them dad and mom. And that's the sunnah of Ahlul Bayt, alayhi wa salam. Now you read in the hadith, uh, hadith of Kisa, right? Huh. Now look at the hadith of Kisa and see how Ahlul Bayt teach us how to call our parents. You see in hadith of Kisa, when the Imam, when Imam Hassan came, he said, As-salamu alayki. Ya Umma. He didn't say as Ya Fatima. No. He said, Ya Umma. That is Imam Masum, but he didn't call Imam by the name. Imam was the same thing. When he came, he said, As-salamu alayki ya umma. Also the same, didn't call by the name. That is the custom of Ahlul Bayt, alayhi wa sallam. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq says, do not call them by the names. Always call mother or father. That is one. I don't want to go into this because there's a reason too. In the hadith of Ahlul Bayt, they tell you, what happens if I call them by name? I'll give you one example. If I call my mother or my father by their name, what happens? They say that is Yuritul Fakr. It causes poverty. How? Now you can ask me, say, so, okay, how can you I call my dad, my mom by their name? How does it relate to the poverty? Oh, now listen. The reason they said, they say what Allah does, Yarfa illahul barakatati hayati. That person, Allah takes blessing from his mind. Whatever he does will never be successful. And in these words, that's why. Number two, they say when you are with your father or the mother, he said, do not walk ahead of them. If sometimes you walk with the parents to some work, because we're young, especially on the youth. Alhamdulillah, those are youth are not here. Our youth are very good, mashallah. Good obedience to their parents, nice to their parents. Alhamdulillah. Some of us, sometimes when we walk with our parents, what do we do? A father, because of the age, he cannot walk so fast. So I'm a young, I go to gym every day, so I'm good, uh, muscle. So, mashallah, I'm miles ahead of my father. And his bait, Ali Muslim said, no, that is not the teachings of Ali You have to walk behind the father, unless if they ask you to be ahead of them. That is true. Number three. When you go to a place with the father or the mother, they say, do not sit before them. Sometimes you go to certain places, especially even like train or plane, or even visiting somebody. 
As soon as we get, we want to get comfortable first. Mom and dad didn't come later. They find a place, Alhamdulillah, they didn't find Alhamdulillah comfortable. That is against the teachings of Ahlul Bayt. Ahlul Bayt said, when you go somewhere with the father or the mother, you have to make sure that they see it first and be comfortable first. And then if there is a place, then you can go and see it. Allah. That is number three. Number four, they said, Imam Jafar al said, he said, do not correct your parents in public. Allahu Akbar. Amr bin Ma'roof. When a person does something mistake, they say correct them the right thing. But there is exception to parents. If I see my mother or my father does any mistake, it's not so you're not allowed to correct them in the public. You correct them where? In private, somewhere. Between you and them. You cannot correct them like that. In the public. Like some of us, when a father makes a mistake, Oh dad, oh mom, that's wrong. Mom, you didn't get it right. No, 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 Habibi. When the father does something wrong, you wait until the proper time in private and you talk to them in a calm voice, a respectful manner. That is the father's way for you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless Marhum Ayatullah Faqiri. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his soul, Ya Rasulullah. Ya Allah, we ask you, let us be the good children to our parents, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you, anybody who lost his father or a mother, Ya Allah, we ask you, for the sake of tonight's garden, Ya Allah, bless their souls, Ya Allah. Those fathers who are still alive, Ya Allah, protect them and give them the best help, Ya Allah. And help our children to obey them as you ask us to do, Ya Allah. اللهم إنا نسألك وندعوك بأحب الخلق إليه بمحمد وألي وفاطمة والحسن والحسين والسر المستوضح في فاطمة يا الله اللهم بحقك عليهم وبحقهم عليك يا الله شاف وشاف جميع مرضى المسلمين يا الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أما يجيب المصر إذا دعا ويكشف السوء 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 باسمك العظيم لا عز لا جل لا قام يا الله 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 يا مجيب المضطرين بحق المضطر عليك أجب المضطر إنك على كل شيء قدير إلى مواف المؤمنين والمؤمنات لا سيما من اجتمع لأجله رحم الله من قرأ الفاتحة مع الصلوات الله صلى الله عليه وسلم